Now, if we look at the ionization of water, we realize that if H2O and H2O molecules undergo ionization very slightly, where the water reacts with the water to form an acid-base reaction where H3O plus ions are formed and OH minus ions are formed. Now, this is a reversible reaction, and I haven't placed the arrow correctly here. But basically, what happens is that because the Kc value is very, very small, most of the reaction is in the water side, and there's very few H3O plus and OH minus ions that are formed. So what we do is we take the Kc value of water, and if we write uh, the Kc reaction, the equilibrium expression reaction for the water, then we must say concentration of products over concentration of reactants. So your concentration of products are H3O plus ions and uh, OH minus ions, so that's the concentration in the square brackets, divided by the concentration of the reactants. But in this case, we know that water is a liquid, and uh, the H2O is a liquid, so then there will be nothing here at the product side. So we see the Kc expression for water is Kc is equals to H3O plus uh, OH minus. But in order, because we are talking about water, we won't say Kc, we say Kw. So Kw of water is equal to H3O plus ions and concentration and OH minus ions. Uh, the concentration of, of OH minus ions. And sometimes they even write it as Kw is equals to H plus, concentration of H plus and concentration of OH minus ions. So H3O plus or, or H plus are both acceptable, but you have to look at the data sheet that's provided to make sure you don't have any errors. So we see here that the Kw of water is very small, but we see that the Kw of water is 1 times 10 to the minus 14, and that's extremely, extremely small, which shows that there is mainly water and the concentration of H3O plus ions and concentration of OH minus ions in water are very small. So this is a very important expression when we do calculations relating to pH. Kw is equal to concentration of H3O plus uh, multiplied by the concentration of OH minus ions. Now we will discuss the pH scale. Now if you look at the pH scale, the important equation that we must know is that pH is equal to minus logarithm of the oxonium ion minus log H3O plus concentration or pH is equal to minus log the concentration of H plus ions. And as I mentioned earlier, whether you say H3O plus the concentration of H3O plus ions or H plus ions, it, it, is, it is the same. Now here we have a pH scale and we know that the pH of a neutral substance is around 7 and as we go closer from, uh, to, towards 0 from 7 to that the acid gets stronger towards when it goes towards 0 and from 7 to 14 as we move towards 14 the pH of the base becomes larger. So the pH of 14 is a stronger base than the pH of 10 Whereas uh, uh, an acid with a pH of uh, 1 is a, stronger, is a stronger acid than an acid with a pH of 4. And on the right hand side here, we see some of um, common everyday examples of acids and bases where the stomach acid, which is hydrochloric acid, has a pH of 1, lemon juice 2, grapes 3, tomato 4, banana uh, around 5, milk has a pH of 6, water has a pH of seven so and we move this way towards uh, uh, the basic side we see oven cleaner is almost uh, 14 and we have a dove soap for example around 10 and jig has a ph of around 12. so as we move towards uh, 14 we get stronger bases seven is neutral and as we move towards zero we get stronger acids and here are common examples we will now look at an example where of how to calculate pH, you say we have an equation, a uh, uh, question that says uh, calculate the pH of a sulfuric acid solution of concentration 1,5 times 10 to the minus 2 mole per dm cube. So what we need to do is write down the equation that we have, the balanced equation. So if you look at this, we see that H2O reacts with H2SO4 to undergo ionization to form H3O plus plus SO4 2 minus. Now what we notice here is that 1H2SO4 forms 2H3O+, and that is significant in calculating the pH because H2SO4 is a diprotic acid because it uh, donates two protons to make two oxonium ions, as we see here. So now, to calculate the pH, we need the pH equation where we know that pH is equal to minus log concentration of H3O plus ions or minus log concentration of H plus ions, depending on which one you favor. 
And then we notice that the mole ratio of H2SO4 to H3O plus is 1 is to 2. Now, if the concentration of the sulfuric acid is 1,5 times 10 to the minus 2, it means that the concentration of the H3O plus ions will be double. So it will be 3 times 10 to the minus 2 because of the ratio 1 is to 2. So then we write down that's equal to minus log of uh, 3,0 times 10 to the minus 2. And if you say minus log 3,0 times 10 to the minus 2 on your calculator, you'll get the pH of the solution as 1,5. So we can see that if the pH is 1,5, it is very low. It's closer to 1. So this shows that this acid is a strong acid because it has a pH of close to 1. We will now look at the question of how to calculate pH of uh, a sodium hydroxide solution of concentration 0, 0,3 mole per dm cube. Now we see here that if, because we are dealing with a sodium hydroxide solution, we notice that sodium hydroxide yeah, when we write an equation to show the dissociation, we see NaOH plus H2O will give you Na plus plus OH minus ions in solution. But we know that the pH equation we have and that we know is pH is equal to minus log the concentration of H3O plus ions. Now, how do we link H3O plus ions for the equation that we have here? Now, previously we knew that if we know that the KW equation comes into play. But the KW equation has H3O plus ions and OH minus ions in solution. And we know that KW is equal to concentration of H3O plus ions multiplied by the concentration of OH minus ions in solution. And the value of KW is 1 times 10 to the minus 14 as seen here. So now we know that the mole ratio of NaOH to OH minus ions is 1 is to 1, which means that if the concentration of NaOH is uh, 0, 0,3 mole per dm cube, it means that the concentration of our hydroxide or OH minus ions is also 0, 0,3 mole per dm cube. So if we write down 1 times 10 to the minus 14 as our KW is equals to concentration of H3O plus ions multiplied by 0, 0,3, which is the concentration of OH minus ions because the mole ratio is 1 is to 1. And then if we divide both sides by 0, 0,3 and we take our calculator, say 1 times 10 to the minus 40 divided by 0, 0,3, we'll see that the concentration of the H3O plus ions will be 3,3 .3 times 10 to the minus 14 mole per dm cube. Now we can introduce this concentration of H3O plus in our pH equation. Where we know that pH is equal to minus log of concentration of the H3O plus ions. And we've worked uh, the concentration of our H3O plus ions using our KW equation on the left. And if we substitute pH is equal to minus log of 3,3 .3 times 10 to the minus 14. And then we can see that the pH of the solution will be 13,5. And this answer makes sense because we're talking of a sodium hydroxide solution, which is a very strong base. So the pH of the solution will be closer to 14 and 13,5 shows that it is closer to 14. So this is um, the simple equations that will demonstrate how to calculate pH of a solution. We need two equations, which are the pH is equals to minus log H3O plus ions. And we use the KW equation, which is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14 is equals to H3O plus ions multiplied by OH minus ions solution. And that's where we will stop today.